क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू यूज अजियोर कॉस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड द ऑप्शन आर अडेप टेस्ट सब्सक्रिप्शन सॉफ्टवेयर अज्योरेंस एन इंटरप्राइज एग्रीमेंट अ पे एज यू गो सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर इज एन इंटरप्राइज एग्रीमेंट मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट प्रेजेंट द सेम सिनेरियो सो द क्वेश्चन इज योर कंपनी प्लान टू परचेज अजियोर द कंपनी सपोर्ट पॉलिसी स्टेट्स दैट द अजियोर इन्वायरमेंट मस्ट प्रोवाइड एन ऑप्शन टू एक्सेस सपोर्ट इंजीनियर्स बाई फोन और ई मेल यू नीड टू रिकमेंड विथ सपोर्ट प्लान मीट्स द सपोर्ट पॉलिसी रिक्वायरमेंट and the solution given is you recommend a professional direct support plan so the question is that you have to get the support via phone or email and the recommendation is professional direct support plan so the answer would be yes so the basic support plan does not have any technical support for engineers proper support plan has only technical support for engineers via email the standard professional direct and premier support plans have technical support for engineers via email and phone now move to next question this is question number 33 and the question says that your company has 10 departments the company plans to implement an azure environment you need to ensure that each department can use a different payment options for the azure services it consumes what should you create for each department and the options are a reservation a subscription a resource group a container instance so basically here the requirement is that you have to use a different payment option for each department right so the correct option is a subscription so there are different payment options in azure including pay as you go enterprise agreement and microsoft customer agreement accounts your azure costs are per subscription you are charged monthly for all resources in a subscription therefore to use different payment options per department you will need to create a separate subscription per department you can create multiple subscription in a single microsoft intra id tenant now the a option is incorrect a reservation is where you commit to a resources for example a virtual machines for one or three years this gives you a discounted price on the resources for the reservation period now option c a resource group is a logical container for azure resources you can view the total cost of all the resources in a resource group however resource group do not provide a way to use different payment options per department d is also incorrect a container instance is an azure resource used to run an application container instance do not provide a way to use different payment options per department now move to next that is question number 34 and this is true or false and the question is an azure free account has a spending limit the second one is an azure free account has a limit for the amount of data that can be uploaded to azure an azure free account can contain an unlimited number of web apps so for the first one that is an azure free account has a spending limit yes so that is correct because you will get a 200 dollar for a one month now second an azure free account has a limit for the amount of data that can be uploaded to azure that is also yes so azure free account has a 5 gb blob storage limit and a 5 gb file storage limit now the third one and as your free account can contain an unlimited number of web, web apps no that is not correct because as your free account has a limit of 10 web mobile or api apps 35 and this is also true false 
and the question is an azure service in private preview is released to all azure customers the second is an azure service in public preview is released to all azure customers and the third an azure service in general availability is released to a subset of azure customers so the first one is the correct answer would be no most services go to the private preview then public preview before being released to general availability the private preview is only available to certain azure customers for a evaluation purposes and for the second one the correct answer is yes public preview means that the service is in public beta and can be tried out by anyone with an azure subscription services in public preview are often offered at a discount price public previews are excluded from sls and in some cases no support is offered and for the third one the answer is no an azure service in general availability is available to all azure customer not just a subset of the customer 36 and the questions so this one is also a true false and the question is a single microsoft account can be used to manage multiple azure subscription and for this the correct answer is yes so you can use the same account to manage multiple subscription you can create an additional subscription for your account in the azure portal you may want an additional subscription to avoid hitting subscription limits to create separate environments for security or to isolate data for compliance reason now second one is two azure subscription can be merged into a single subscription by creating a support request so the answer is no you cannot merge two subscription into a single single subscription however you can move some azure resources from one subscription to another you can also transfer ownership of a subscription and change the billing type for a subscription and the third one is a company can store resources in multiple subscription and the answer is yes a company can have multiple subscription and store resources in the different subscription however a resources instance can exist in only one subscription question number 37 so this is also a true of true false first the service label agreement sla guaranteed uptime for paid azure service is at least 99.9% and the answer is yes sla's vary based on the resource type and the location distribution of the resources however the minimum uptime for all azure service is 99.9% the second one is companies can increase the service label agreement guaranteed uptime by adding azure resources to multiple regions and the correct answer is yes the sla guaranteed uptime is increased usually to 99.95% when resources are deployed across multiple regions now for the three companies can increase the service label agreement guaranteed uptime by purchasing multiple subscription and the answer is no the number of subscription is unrelated to uptime sls you can deploy resources to multiple regions under a single subscription or you can have multiple subscriptions with resources deployed to the same region so in short the correct for all the three the option is yes yes and no question number 38 this is also yes or no and the question is storing 1 tb of data in azure blob storage will always cost the same regardless of azure region in which the data is located this is false the so correct answer is no when you use a general purpose v2 storage account you are only charged for the amount of data that is stored all read and write operations are free this is also not correct so the answer is is no and the third one is 
transferring data between azure storage account in different azure region is free so this is also not a correct statement so for this the correct answer is no 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 question number 39 you plan to provision infrastructure as a service resources in azure which resource is an example of is and the options are an azure web app an azure virtual machines an azure logic app and azure sql database so the for the is the correct answer is an azure virtual machine so azure virtual machine is an example of infrastructure as a service azure web app azure logic app and azure sql database are all examples of platform as a service question number 40 a team of developers at your company plans to deploy and then remove 50 virtual machines each week all the virtual machines are configured by using azure resource manager template you need to recommend which azure service will minimize the administrative effort required to deploy and remove the virtual machines what should you recommend and the options are azure reserved virtual machine instances azure dev test labs azure virtual machine scale sets and d microsoft managed desktop these type of requirements the correct answer is azure dev test lab